So, my dear sisters and brothers, uh, we have uh, misunderstood everything and that uh, truth which is to be known, that has to be known because you cannot uh, live in this world because uh, as you know this is valley of death. Who can be there living in this valley of death? If it is a, uh, there that one can live, then nobody can say it, valley of death. If there is a graveyard, it's all graveyard. Uh, there's uh, no house over there, uh, no markets there, there's uh, no village or city over there. It is only city of dead. Graveyard is called city of dead. This world is also world of dead. And that why you feel like that you can live. And what life you call and that not life. It cannot be. Because it is the only some arrangement of the negative power that it has given some kind of uh, machinery-like system to this uh, uh, physical body and some kind of winding power uh, power has been bound to it of the karmic system that uh, the people may go on working here and there, here and there, here and there that they are moving phantoms of death and only they are to suffer. There is no trace of happiness or peace or satisfaction or life in this world. And we are saying, I am living, I am living. And some people we see who are really uh, uh, living, uh, who are really uh, no more function in the physical body, that we call dead. Some kind of compassion has only been given uh, by the negative power that we may say we are living, we are alive and others are dead. <laughs> Otherwise it is told that we are moving phantoms of death and that uh, him, him was the life, where is life? There is life. But that is not here in this world or in this physical bodies. In him was the life. Don't you believe these words of any master? In Adi Granth, in all scriptures, this has been given that life is there. But here the things are that as we go to the market, uh, the child is given some kind of toy, a car, and you wind it a little and put it on the table, it runs. And after some time when the winding power is over, it is stands still over there, no more, moving. Why it was moving? Had it got some life or some activity or consciousness or power of working? No. It was only temporarily some winding was given and as long as your power which you had given to it, it was moving uh, some yards or some feet and after that it was nothing. It will rot over there. This is the condition of the physical body life of all the species of this world. Some kind of misunderstanding, misunderstanding is there. And uh, this misunderstanding has been tried by God to remove and that the people of this world may begin to live. I have also read the book uh, Imitation to Christ uh, written by Thomas A. Campus. He has also given some such like description that forsake the flesh, for the spirit, learn to die so that you may begin to live. That when you will begin to live, when you will 
first check the flesh when you are out of the physical and material all and maybe subtle material or maybe a gross material this physical body gross material astral bodies causal bodies because they are interconnected to each other and we cannot live in in any of these uh, bodies because these are made by a dead system of mind and that these three lower worlds are created by the mind as per the dream system if you are sleeping and you are dreaming you are having some kind of existence some kind of creation you are seeing something dealing with something you are living and so much great and great things are there and they look to be real and but they are changing also very quickly and after the dream is over nothing is there because it was only uh, some kind of system of the dream not the reality in the same way uh, this uh, world is also a state of long dream though do dream that we find in the sleepy state in those are short this is only that is a long dream maybe 20 years 30 40 80 90 years but the system is the same <clears throat> that uh, what we find over here only we have when we are here having this uh, body of the dream system but uh, when we are leaving the body we are in an under world and everything of this world is totally uh, um, annihilated totally and then we feel it was only a dream it was nothing it was just some kind of imagination only no reality after the uh, coming out of the dream you feel like that that it was only a dream it was nothing real and now something else is there which i have found which can be called real but this is also not hey we are the dream again another dream again and another dream again another dream such like a chain of dream in life chain of dream in life are there hey that we are totally puzzled in all this nothingness and only imaginations of dreamy words and we are puzzled i have lost something i have found something i will do something i will be great i will this one i will this that one oh that is such a great puzzle uh, that it will uh, remain puzzle it has been uh, puzzle and puzzling us and there is no way out of it and you people do not like to understand it you don't want to understand it you still feel like <clears throat> that uh, we are to uh, live in this dream state and in the dream we may try to uh, know that this is dream or this is reality this is not possible <clears throat> it is not possible my dear as long as you are not awakened from the dream you cannot know uh, that you were in the dream and now you are out of the dream and now you are in reality and that uh, both the things are then available to you one has already gone away and one is with you and that you will be able to know that this is real <laughs> so the master gives you Uh, awakening from this great slumber uh, of this um, world of mind and matter which is having no uh, substance in it totally imaginary totally imaginary but some people uh, go up to this extent that they say that what master shows inside that is only imagination 
that is, and this world is real. Uh, such, uh, to such extent, uh, the uh, mind and matter has been able to cheat us, deceive us, that we are 100% sure of that what is from the uh, mind and negative power, that is true, and what is told by master, uh, any master, that cannot be believed, it's not be believable, it is not understandable. <coughs> but my dear, still you will have to know that the dream is to break. You cannot remain in the dream state forever. And if you have worked only in the dream, dream state, and all what you have done, that will not be with you. And that uh, you will be just empty handed. And what will happen? That we, anybody who was given some time in the day to work and has slept only, has not worked. And that night is there when you cannot work, then one will have to suffer. All what we have learned, uh, uh, what we earned in the day. We bring in the house and we live upon it in the night. That is the system. So this uh, physical body of a human being is uh, the field of action. We can make or mar of life in this uh, small span of life. Maybe 10 years, 20 years, 30, 40, 80, 900 years. There's a never, I think, uh, maybe around about 100 years. But in this time of life, which is not very long, uh, we are to make or mar our life, which is eternal. And that uh, if uh, something is divided by infinity, it is nil. Anything divided by infinity is nothing. And if we compare our this life with the life of an infinity, this is negligible, this is nothing. Then what is important? Is it important that this small span of life is to be made glorious, is to be made enjoyable, is to be worked upon in some ways that it looks very great, wonderful, I should be king, I should be emperor, I should be administrator, I should have big lands and property, I should be an important person. I should enjoy this, I should enjoy that, I should get married and I should have children, I should have houses, people. That we should feel like that this world is there, something is existing and something is important. If we lose something, do we lose something here? If we find something, do we find something over here? Is there any significance, even 0.001% of this world? I will say nil. Nil. Totally, 100%. Nil. <clears throat> then why we are wasting our time, energy uh, on uh, this uh, uh, nothingness, which will only keep us uh, in tortures and torture. After today we are in tortures. After today we are in problems. And is there any hope that you will be able to change your future tomorrow? Day after tomorrow it will burst. It will be still burst. Why don't you, we awaken ourselves? If a master has awakened you, he has shown to you this world of reality. That, my dear, you are, you are soul and you are existing. In all scriptures, it has been told as Lord Krishna was uh, informing his devotee Arjuna uh, that uh, why are you puzzled in this world? What is this world? Uh, you are body, or all these people who are here in this world, is there anything? 
is our only imaginations. Imaginations, we imagine other, other imagine us. Only this world is a world of dream or imagination. You are soul. And all these people who are there, they are also not bodies, they are also souls. And what is the characteristic of soul? It is a eternal. There is no start, there is no end to soul. That is, all these people you see here in this world as soul, there was no time that they were not existing as soul. And there will not be any time in the future also when they will not be there because they are eternal. Similar is the case with you and me that we would have taken so many physical bodies and you would have appeared also in this world, I would have also appeared so many times. But bodies have we had taken and discarded after some time use. But as souls, you are eternal and I am also eternal. This is our basic existence. And kingdom of God is eternal and that our great source is eternal. So there is a truth, there is something existing, and that is your own self. It is not that you have to go to some foreign country where something real is there, it's not with you or with some of your relative or friend or some other person, that reality is there. Reality is there uh, along with you, but all that reality has been enclosed, uh, closed up in such a way that all these outer shells are uh, given to us in such a beauty, such a glory, uh, that mind has been given such a like uh, feeling uh, that uh, this is best, this is nice, this is best. As you see, the condition of the children they have some kind of toys, or even they play with the pebbles, and some child wins some more pebbles, and some other child loses some pebbles. Then that child who loses the pebbles feels like lost. And who wants some pebbles, he feels himself a lucky one. But when both of the children go to their homes, their parents are very angry upon them, they throw away all these pebbles outside, they do not let them bring inside, because they are totally, not only useless, but harmful. And that way those things that the child has spoiled whole the day, and also got very much dirty also with all these businesses and they will have to change the clothes of the children and make them um, um, take bath and then take care of the child and spend some time so that the child is acceptable in the home, in the kitchen and for food and for rest. Otherwise, with all those arrangements that the child had got in outside was only to be outsider, not to be insider at all. This is our case that we belong to this world, we have some belongings in this world and we want to be more and more, more and more, still more. Even if you have been given that, that truth and that you are asked to be, please belong to this world, but you have no idea, totally no idea of it and that you will like to sacrifice each moment uh, to this uh, world of darkness, uh, of curse, full of curse, full of curses and curses. If there is anything uh, which we can find in this world, curses over curses, bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger curses, bigger and bigger curses, and uh, we are never satisfied that we are still having sufficient curses upon us. Let us end over here and don't go further. Mind says no. 
yet more, yet more. It's my duty uh, to give you curses and that you may live in curses for eternity. Never you are to be coming out of these curses and sufferings and that for eternity, if God says that I will give you for eternal, uh, an eternal life, never you are to die and you will enjoy oneness with me and I will make you perfect like me and this will remain for eternity. My duty is also there that I will reduce to nothingness and only uh, a collection of curses and you have to uh, uh, suffer forever for eternity. Never you will find life you will only live this valley of death in death system. This is also my business. And if we have been directed or guided by Master, let us be guided. Who is guiding you on this way of destruction? Your mind your own mind, and the people of this world who are also minds and intellects. And both are discarded by the masters. In the Bible also it is told that only as innocent children you can enter the kingdom of God with no wise. Worldly wisdom is totally opposite to ourselves, which we like very much. Everybody in this world likes to be having, to know everything of this world and to have everything of this world. That we want to have everything of this world and to know everything in this world and to live forever in this world. Nobody feels like that this world is hard, this world is horrible, this valley of death and I have suffered, I should die, I should leave this world. And Master has told me I will take you to some other world. And he has shown me also, given me also, now I should live over there and that leave this world. But I could not find any person in this world up to today who may have little this awakening of knowledge that what is this world? If you want to live in this world for eternity, want to have everything of this world and to know everything in this world, then what will be your state? You will be perfect in sufferings. As God says that, you are to come to me, I will make you as perfect as I am perfect. While uh, uh, following uh, the dictates of the mind, then we will become perfect in suffering and for eternity uh, to suffer. This is our way and our intentions, uh, our connections in this world. And now, uh, how much connection you have got in this world and how much connection you have got in the kingdom of God? This is something we are to compare. <coughs> that if the child has some connection with his playmates and some connections he has got with his parents, then where he will stay, where you can find him. It is very clear that child will not come to home till the night is there, that nobody is there to keep him and there is no place that he can stay anywhere or when the child is in trouble, problems, hungry or thirsty or hurt, only then he will uh, think of uh, the home and the parents and will go over there, otherwise he will not go. Uh, but uh, this system is us, even not with us that we are very much having our playmates here. 
but even when we are in troubles or problems, hungry, thirsty and diseases and are there, sufferings are there, still some arrangements have been made that you have to depend upon these. Don't uh, uh, go home. Don't go to your father. Uh, don't go where full arrangements are there, where everything is perfect. Uh, and he will take care of you forever, for eternity. Every, we are uh, allowed only to know that only with this arrangements of the valley of death, uh, you are connected, otherwise there is no other connection. And uh, if a master is not really uh, affectionate to you, loving to you, or feeling a responsibility to you, you also have no hope. Because your connection is much more to the world than uh, to the master or than to the kingdom of God. That how much time you devote for your meditations and how much time you devote uh, for uh, your world, worldly life. And if uh, you are not told and that you are not impressed and uh, or reminded daily in some ways, you will never put any life, any time to your meditation. You will only go on spoiling your time in front of TV in, or some other idle gossips uh, or some other worldly uh, pursuits, uh, attractions, uh, distractions. Uh, uh, day and night, uh, that day is so small for you uh, to uh, uh, be satisfied with the worldly arrangements. You would need a day of 48 hours at least. And uh, out of 48 hours a day, Master says, you may meditate for two hours, you will say, no, please. I have to still more attend to the world. And that is never possible. Whole of the life I will only go and attend the world. For God, as all the people of this world are there, you are also like this. And that never they will be tired or feeling that this is sufficient. I have done sufficient for this world. I have done sufficient for this family. I have done sufficient for this body. And let me have now something of kingdom of God and God. Never this thought will uh, 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 come again us. Perhaps there can be some lucky one who may only think that I have done now sufficient. Now I shall retire. Uh, government retire makes us uh, retire, send us home with some pension, something like that, that after they have used up your cream of life up to 60 years of age, that now it is not uh, it's good for your health and your body and uh, mental system also, and that you may be given any kind of tensions or burden, or, and that you may relax. But we are never feeling ourselves relaxed. I think uh, some people marry at the age of 60 or 70, I think. <laughs> they start some businesses. <laughs> what is this life? fun? What is this system? And that we have never felt that there is life. Is this life? And that in the end of our life also, if we find something good, we will like to enjoy it. We like to enjoy it and ask God and that please and give me health for hundred years, thousand years, but let me enjoy for ten moments <laughs> this something which is now appearing in front of me. We will invite health of thousand years and for the sake of ten minutes of enjoyment of this world. <laughs> This is our system, this is our mental system, and uh, we, are, we are all proud of it. But my dear, uh, where is your soul? 
how soul is crying and crying and day and night, day and night. But who would who takes care of the soul? And the body, mind and intellect, all, all this world is just shouting and shouting, shouting and shouting. And that poor soul, you only will be available when you are alone, there is no world, no body, no mind, no intellect. Mind will be there still. Mind will still be there and he will laugh at you. Okay, my dear, you had gone into this world to leave yourself of the pains, worries, sufferings, diseases and death. But my dear, instead of releasing yourself, I have given you one million times more than you had before. When you entered into this world, at that time you had debts had to pay for a destiny, maybe uh, one thousand. But in all this life, I had given you the way in which each moment you had acquired more and more, more and more debts, more and more debts. And instead of clearing your debts of the past, and that you have been able only to increase, and now you are going million times bigger and bigger uh, accounts, debts, uh, pending uh, settlement against you, and you will never be uh, allowed uh, to ignore because it is law. Even Master is uh, feeling like takes, uh, taking the soul and releasing, after releasing it from this uh, karmic uh, uh, accounts, he will have to take these karmas and pay for that uh, from his own nam power, godly powers. And then when the uh, settlement of the negative power has been cleared, only that soul uh, can be taken back by the master even. But is also not just free uh, to take back the soul. And this, if this help you have not accepted, then uh, where uh, is uh, our position? And if a master is forcibly really helping you, uh, that another case. But if we feel like uh, that if some person has come to us, okay, come to me, and tomorrow I will help you, and we do not go there, but we go to some opposite person, then how we can feel that we will be helped? Now Master has come and has given us everything and has told us, please come to me over there, and I will I release you of all the pains, all bodies, all sufferings, all diseases, all death, everything will be handled by me. But we have not believed. Still we have believed our uh, intellect and mind and worldly systems. Still I don't say leave your families, leave your uh, uh, relatives, friends, leave your houses, etc. But belong to somebody to whom you belong. That the mother may take the child anywhere. Maybe to some relatives or friends or to enemies or to wilderness or to some city. But ask the child, where are, where are you? He will only say, I am with the mother. He will only keep clinging to the mother. Child doesn't know uh, where the mother has taken the child because he is not concerned with anything uh, of the world. He is only connected and concerned with the mother. He knows that my mother is be all and end all and if I leave her and try to uh, be connected with something, I will be. 
hackered, I will be not able to exist. That is the intelligence of the children, small children. That is why Lord Christ and other masters had recommended that at least the children are intelligent and they know that there is severe and if this understanding is given to the children, they will understand it. But the grown-ups, uh, they have got their own uh, puzzled, puzzled and puzzled uh, situations and they will remain puzzled and they will make the mess, still more mess, confusion, worst confounded, more and more, more and more and we will not accept anything from the Master and we will not believe in his gifts in his blessings and will only go on confused. It is better to remain confused. The mind is telling like that. I don't accept anything new. Your master says, I will give you everything, everything wonderful, everything wonderful. Tell him, it is better. I am here nicely confused. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I cannot leave this confusion, my dear. You say very good things, very nice things, wonderful things. And I sometimes believe, I sometimes like it. But when I look at this confusion, I want to have it all of it. <laughs> then I forget everything from you, all those nice, wonderful things which you have given to me, I forget, I neglect. Everything is gone. Only this confusion of this world is very, very dear to me and I will keep it, I will keep it. For eternity I may go on suffering. <laughs> but when we suffer, then we cry, when we cry. And then at that time there is no one to listen to us. Here there are some kind of consolations but when you leave the physical body and you are in health, in fires of health, there's no one, brother or sister or any family member or any sympathizer or comforter, no one is there. And then you will have known that what wrong things, misunderstanding you had gone through and now you have to suffer. And But it's too late at that time. Because this arrangement of our change of system of life is only in this physical body of human being that we can change from down system to the upper system and we are safe. But over there, upper system is gone because this time was given to us that in this time I, am, I will be here, my kingdom will be here, and everything will be here, and you are welcomed at any moment. But for 80, 90 years, he had been waiting for us, patiently, patiently, but we did not turn to him. Then, as per his words, he uh, remained uh, true. But as per our words, we did not stand and we lost and we are losing. Even now, we are going along in the same losing game. Same losing game. In the morning, we will get up and we will try to take bath. We will try to change clothes. We will try to see our ugly face in the mirror. <laughs> I will say ugly face, although it is shining, no doubt. <clears throat> but that face which will take us to the health, can it be called a shining face? That which makes our future really horrible, really dark, can that person be called a friend who gives us now very good, nice, things, Coca-Cola, ice cream, pancakes, donuts, 
And after the meals, he shows a bill of ninety-nine point nine nine dollars. <laughs> we'll not say hundred dollars. <laughs> ninety-nine point nine five dollars. <laughs> and you have nothing in your pocket, <laughs> empty. Then what will happen? He will put you on the work. That work over here. and you are still habit of eating more and working less and then you go on increasing your debts and the far whole of the life you are kept over there as captivity never you are to be lead so is that to be called a friend or beautiful one and that we may give it good clothes and good decorations good houses Good all these things to this body, which is our enemy, to the mind to whom we want to satisfy. That we are really doing a great cruelty. That our friend, who is our friend, he is not of any consideration. That God is our friend. God is our father. God is everything, and He is there in a. human form among us god uh, world made flesh and dwelt amongst us in bible also it is given that that word god made flesh came down and had a body of flesh and dwelt amongst us who god and that in flesh body and that is not our friend and uh, that is of no uh, consideration and that we can ignore then what you have ignored and what you have found can you imagine something have you ever imagined you would never imagine and that's the reason i don't want to see anybody in this world because i have tried my best to tell the people nobody has accepted nobody feel like accepting therefore i felt like since 92 i am feeling like uh, remaining in himalayas and meditating over there why to waste my time in these stones uh, who will not uh, 100 year 1000 years you keep a stone in water and after you take it out it will be or dry it will have nothing so for 10 years 20 years and there might also some people who are from initiated from my master uh, that as uh, you have not changed you are still loved uh, this uh, uh, biggest horrible mind uh, creation and has not loved a king and mother god and god and is there any hope for that that you will change your attitude i don't because what has been tested yesterday day before yesterday two days before yesterday for that no more only three testing times are sufficient and with three testing times if somebody is not coming up fourth time it is a no use use for nest because that person will not uh, uh, that is a hopeless case then don't waste time on those things so uh, from that time i had decided like that that i will give up all this uh, useless game uh, to go to the people and therefore i had acted also like this i am not available in india even and i had really not given any detailed uh, uh um, tours over here even uh, but still uh, i have got unlucky this i'm heart not really stone like you <laughs> so, sorry <laughs> still i feel like i uh, seeing you coming to you 
but uh, not in the hope that you will change. That never. That I have known, I have felt, and I have really understood that you will never change. <coughs> there is no hope. And I should not uh, feel like uh, uh, hoping upon anybody who is hopeless, who are hopeless. <coughs> so I don't condemn you, <coughs> I don't accept, expect anything of you which is not expectable. And therefore I will not also worry. <laughs> that if you go to somebody with some expectation and that person is not coming up to that expectation, then you feel hard. And then you feel upset. So why should I, I should make myself upset? And that if I expect something of you and you do not turn up like that, then I will feel upset. Otherwise, when I don't expect anything, and that not turning up, I will feel satisfied that I went to a stone and I sat near the stone and I am going back from the stone and that is sufficient. <laughs> that is sufficient. <laughs> so my dear, is there anything that you all you are better than stones? Is there any understanding in you? Is there any sense? Is a question to you. Uh, that uh, uh, some water flow is uh, running and some stones and pebbles are being swayed away uh, by that strong uh, current of water and some person standing outside says to those stones, my dear, come out of it. You know where you will be? You will be very, very deep depths of oceans uh, and you will be lost over there and you will not be refound. Come out now. And if there is anyone who has got a little sense of understanding, will come out. But those who are only stones, they will not understand and they will go along with that uh, flow of the current and will go on, will go on, not knowing any consequences what will happen. The same is the case with all the people of this world. They are going along with this flow of the materialism, uh, this uh, 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 beauty and glory or charms of this uh, uh, physical life and the worldly uh, attractions or sometimes uh, relations, etc., belongings, and if they are told, hey, you are uh, this way of destruction, you are going along with the way of destruction. If there is somebody who is told that this way of destruction and this is way of life, uh, they will understand it. And they will try to come out of it. They will follow the way of life. But those who do not follow, what they can be called? Except stones, lifeless, with no understanding, no feeling, they can be called only that. And uh, uh, from their actions it is clear. I will not say anything, but you will yourself will uh, condemn yourself. The time comes that when the people have to condemn themselves. And then they feel like if we would have been condemned at that time, rather we would have been killed even. If we had not accepted this way of life, we would have dealt with most horribly, we would have put into prison and we would not have given any food till we had not meditated six hours or ten hours a day. With such a great uh, compulsion, we would have been made to accept God and to meditate. It would have been very nice, very wonderful. Then you will accept. Then the people uh, realize. But uh, why don't you realize now that there is something which is useful for us and there is something which is totally uh, 
हाँ यूजलेस एंड हार्मफुल एंड डेंजरस देर आर सम फ्यू पीपल हु ब्रॉड फ्रॉम अबव एज द मास्टर कम्स ही ब्रिंग्स सम ऑफ ए स्पेशल सोल्स हु आर ऑलरेडी डिजाइंड फॉर द पर्पज हु वर्क विद हिम एंड दैट है दे आर ऑलरेडी कनेक्टेड एंड दे आर नॉट लॉस्ट एंड दो एक्सेप्शन आर देर इवन नाउ हु आर वर्किंग विद मी हु आर एक्सेप्टिंग मी हु आर फीलिंग आई डाइंग इवन फॉर मी सफरिंग फॉर मी आई थिंक दे कैन सेक्रीफाइस बिकॉज दे आर मेड लाइक दैट बट वाई डोंट यू बी कम फॉरवर्ड इफ यू हाँ कम फॉरवर्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो बी चेंज यू कैन ऑल्सो बी डेट विद लाइक दैट दैट एनी लिटल ब्लॉक ऑफ गोल्ड कैन बी चेंज इट वंडरफुल नेकलेस एंड फिट विद जूज एंड डायमंड एंड कैन कैन ऑल्सो बी वेरी वेरी वैल्यूएबल एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट you don't like you feel like that you only feel like having value among your family among your uh, other relatives and friends uh, or other your colleagues uh, or the worldly people and uh, you don't feel that your value is only value when god values you and kingdom of god also accepts you and when you are with the master when you are uh, not alone huh, from any of these two god or master they are just not two really they are one and in kingdom of god and what concern we have got to anybody of this world because this are imagine imaginations only everything is imaginary that in the beginning was the world in adi granth and other scriptures also it has been explained that god was there in the form of the sound shabd word and everything was made by it and as long as it is to exist the same word power is sustaining and maintaining it and after at some time when uh, the uh, when god part feels like uh, we drawing every of his creation it will again uh, be uh, just uh, uh, assimilated in world god and this world will only remain behind nothing else will be there that world is the reality and everything is just uh, some kind of uh, so god imaginations or temporary uh, figures uh, or appearances uh, not really reality is uh, which is from the beginning uh, and will end uh, and in between also the same reality and that you will come to know when you go up you will see your reality unchanged that what you are i and my father are one also this body will be there but you will not accept you will self had body and you will not accept this world as it looks like to you this world will also look to you only some kind of forms from that basic existence of the world god and you will feel that this world god this shabd is the beginning and it is the end and it is all in between nothing is there except it this is the only thing from eternity till eternity and i will enjoy it and i can enjoy it there is nothing else which is there enjoyable or can be caught existing even so my dear come out of this a great uh, a illusion delusion system of this mind and matter and if a master has given you something that has been given to you that will remain 
you will leave the physical body, you will have to uh, uh, be disconnected from everything, everything of this world. It is a system like that, that uh, at any moment you can be disconnected, no more, further. You cannot look back even. Uh, then, what is the significance of this world for you? Then that thing which is to remain with you forever, for eternity, that will have to be taken care of. You should know that all other, other people are there, they will not remain with me. My father is there, who will not discard me. When everybody has gone away, I have no authority upon them, and they have no connection to me, I should understand it. And that who will remain with me, after everybody has gone and discarded, and that is our friend. That is our everything. We have not yet understood it. That when you leave the physical body, who will be there with you? All these properties will go with you. All these relative friends, or all these people will go with you. Even now, here they are not with you. You have some time to be alone, single. And you have to de uh, deal with suffering problems, but is alone. In this world, if they are not able to be with us always, how can they be? And they are after living the physical body. And is there somebody? It is there. Who is now? And will all, always be there for eternity. I will never leave thee nor fast shake thee till the end of the world. Everything may vanish away, but he will be there always. So why don't we find him? Why don't we feel like accepting him? And then feel like that with him I am safe. He is competent one also. And he is a believable, dependable also. So these people also, we may, I may go on, don't matter. As uh, the child has got really connection with his own home and his own parents, but has also uh, nothing difficulty with uh, other neighbors uh, or strangers even, or that is our friends, uh, but uh, he doesn't give the same status uh, of his heart uh, to other people as he has for his own father and mother or family members. But we have totally forgotten our own family, our own home, our own father, our own friend, and we have tried only, which is uh, nothing. And there we uh, are mistaken and there we are in difficulty in problems. <laughs> so my dear, all these uh, things which are useful to you and that uh, I am telling you today I was really uh, in hard condition that some people were saying perhaps I will be coming next year also. I was thinking what far? <laughs> what far I should come next year? If uh, uh, something which was to be done uh, is not accomplished in this time, can it be accomplished next time? And that uh, if uh, I had to do something this time, and this could not be done, how it can be next time? I should not come. <coughs> there is no need. There is no purpose. <coughs> I was a little very much confused. <coughs> Uh, that the worldly people have their own ways uh, to uh, go on working in some ways, uh, totally useless, totally useless. As you also go to some people, some people come to you, and what is, what is that? Go and remain there. If somebody comes to you, should, it should remain there with you. Why should you go back? It means... Uh, 
Uh, it is only game of coming and going, coming and going. There's nothing, no relation, no substance, nothing, reality. Uh, what is use of coming and going? If master is there, but you have him here, he's there. He's settled over there, have him, enjoy him. And why you are running after my physical body? Because it is very easy to call me and to live in this such like wonderful hotel, have good food, nice living and enjoy the life. But over there, her mind says, I am totally neglected and body is also neglected and only soul is enjoying and this we cannot accept. And that soul is to suffer, God is to suffer, and all the arrangements of God are to be neglected. And that one is only to uh, suffer the fires of the hell. This is only the uh, discretion or desire of our setup of this world. So, my dear, I will have to consider all these things. If you do not consider, you may not consider. It is up to you. But you cannot compel me that I should obey you. I should do as you ask for. <coughs> it is good if you do what I tell you. If I ask you to do like this, it will be good for you. But it will not be good for me that I should do what you say. Is it light? Is it okay that it will be useful for you and also for me that I should do what you say? Can anybody say that it will be useful? I think it will be useful that if I say something to you and you do it, accept it, I think you will not be able to say that that can be some difficulty or problem. I also know it. And then why don't you do what I say you? Why don't do you feel that I should do something what you say to me? Uh, it is okay in love I had been coming to you and perhaps I will be coming to you but not for any purpose. Uh, that some purpose will be really solved. <coughs> but my dear little wake up from this great slumber or hypnotic effect of the mind and matter and live over here hey, there where there is life, <coughs> where there is intelligence, where there is feeling, where there is understanding, where nothing is there to elude you, to cheat you, or to deceive you. So reality is there, crystal clear. And it will remain shining, remain shining, go on, go on, go on looking, go on looking. It will go on shining, go on shining, go on shining. More and more, more and more, more and more. And will bless your own life, bless your soul, bless your mind, bless your body, bless your relatives, family, and everybody you have any connection with anybody. It will go on blessing, go on blessing, go on blessing, all of you. <coughs> no problem for you. It will take away all your problems, it will solve all the problems, and will go on blessing you only with everything of its own standard. But what this world will do, what this world has done, it is very hard, very hard, my dear. So try to take care of yourself. As Master is taking care of you, he is really worried about you, really. But you are not opening your eyes and you may see you. that what Master is worried about you, you may also see that you may also feel worried about yourself, that you are in problem, you are not safe, you will be in trouble are in trouble and will be in trouble. Uh, but 
we have got no understanding and no feeling according to our mental system. So, my dear, try to be renunciate uh, 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 mentally or uh, what you call um, uh, inside. Physically, you may remain in this world, but uh, you should have nothing in this world in your inner setup. Inner setup should only be uh, God and kingdom of God. That uh, when you are anywhere, you have no feeling uh, of these people. Only tell, talk about God, talk about kingdom of God, because that is real. Reality is there, and that reality is to be told to all those who do not know this reality. That those who are groping in darkness, they are to be shown the light, so that they are not lost in that darkness. They may also find and the way of life and light, and they are back in their own homes where they will enjoy light of life for eternity. Find yourself and help others. This is what I expect of you, and you should also feel like and that something is given to you in your favor, in your benefit, and you should know it, and then accept it, and then you will really be able to enjoy, and then further you will really believe.